I'm Croatian. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, we do. Got a room full of Croatian people. Somebody, quick, check their papers. Um, but let me tell you about a time when I almost got locked up in jail by a Chinese guy in Canada. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about Croatians. See, Croatians, they're traditional people. Women take care of the house and the kids and men while well, they provide and they take care of other men's women. I know, see, in America it's considered sexist, but I can't help it. See, I was born in that culture. There's no help for it. See, if you drink, there's a program you go to. If you do drugs, there's a rehab for you. If you're Croatian, you're screwed. <laughs> I should have fixed that one a little bit. <laughs> it, it just, you know, don't you just hate it? You know, you leave your house and then 20 minutes later you realize you forgot something like a punchline. <laughs> you know. And so it, it doesn't really help when you're, when you're a Croatian, it doesn't really help when you're talking to a female customs agent at the border. See, here's the deal. Back in Croatia, they call me an American. In America, I'm an immigrant. But when I travel to Canada, I'm a suspect. <laughs> and I mean, if, if, and what really doesn't help is I don't smile. Because if I did, then I got more crap. See, because when I smile, I look like a Air Alaska guy. See? <laughs> <laughs> and so now I'm about to cross the Canadian border. Right? And see, to me, it's all about intention and perception. Okay? Because my intention is to go to Canada to see mommy. Her intention is to keep me out of the country. But my perception needs a little bit of work. See? Well, see, often when we talk to people, we say something to them, but they perceive something else. Or when they say something else, we perceive something else from them. Are you guys perceiving my perception here? Because I don't like to complify things that are simplicated. See? So I walk up the border and I give her my paperwork and she's looking at the uh, uh, passport and she says, how often do you come to Canada? And to me, my perception says, come here often. And I said, well, two or three times a year. And she says, um, who are you here to see? And now I'm thinking to myself, she's already jealous, but we don't even start on our relationship yet. <laughs> and I said, well, um, I'm here to see my mother. And she says, well, she actually said, she says, well, this is an odd time to see your mother when all the kids are back to school. I was like, I said, what? And so she didn't like it. So what does she do? She sends me to another customs agent, right? So I walk into this big room, and there he is, the Chinese guy protecting Canada. Did you ever notice with, with a Chinese dialect, it, it sounds musical. It's kind of like a song to me, right? So I walk up to him and give him the papers. And so, huh? Am I? Oh. I'm very sorry to interrupt your conversation. I promise I'll never do it again. Am I, am I okay to go now and have a green light? Thank you so much. By the way, you ladies look lovely. Where the hell was I now? Chinese, yes. So, um, Chinese language to me is, is very musical. So I walk up to the guy and I give him the papers and I said, by the way, just so you know, I'm a Canadian. And he says, Oh, you comedian, tell me a joke. <laughs> and before I knew what was happening, right, lips are flapping and the lips are moving, the tongue's flapping, and out it comes. And I said, Okay, well, um, there's, um, there's an American and a Russian and a China. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, no. That is so long. And, and so I said, oh, well, no, 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 wait, that one didn't work either. Son of a bitch. 
Anyway, well, I gotta move on. And so, what else do you do? You know, doesn't work, doesn't work. What the hell? Why you know? And so, and and so, I, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, said, no, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, no, 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 no. I didn't say comedian. I said Canadian. And so he takes the paper, you know, wasn't amused, and he walks away. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, this is it. I'm gonna get locked up by a Chinese guy in Canada. This, he did not look happy. And it was the longest 20 minute, 20 minutes of my entire life. He comes back. He's still unhappy. And so he's giving me back the papers, and he says, um, "I check your paper. You are free to go." And I thought, well, okay, uh, uh, thanks for the song. Uh, you know, and so I walked away before he grabs me. I walk away and walk away. So now my perception is, well, she was trying to pick me up, and he was romanticizing me with the song. All of that while they're keeping the Canadian border free, safe. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, Howard... No, what the hell is his name? See, now I lost him. <laughs> oh, Howard Stern. I'm thinking to myself, Howard Stern, there it is. I'm thinking to my, I don't know what that is. I, I swear to you, I don't do drugs. This is purely coincidental, I really don't. So anyway, I'm walking out before this guy grabs me and, I, and, I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, I thought, Howard Stern, eat your heart out because Canada's got talent too. Oh, thank God, Lars. Thank you so much for putting up with me in my time.